The triangle stitch is an easy to a repeat and for this tutorial I will be using Karen Simply Soft yarn in the colorway Sunshine. Now I love using Karen Simply Soft for crochet stitch tutorials because it is a medium weight yarn so it's really easy to work with and it's a little shiny so it looks pretty on camera but you should feel free to use any yarn you like. This stitch looks great in so many different kinds of yarn. This particular yarn calls for a five and a half millimeter hook. Now, sometimes I do like using a smaller hook to get a tighter stitch. And if you want a tighter stitch, use a smaller hook. If you want a looser stitch, use a larger hook. For this tutorial, I will be using a five and a half millimeter Tulip brand Atimo hook. Now, I like Tulip hooks for some stitches because they do tend to be a little bit pointier which makes it so much easier to get through small spaces and crochet in things like chains, which can be a little bit tricky with a blunt hook. So if you have a pointier hook, this might be a good time to use it. For the triangle stitch, we will be chaining in a multiple of four plus one. So to start, we're going to create a slip knot, cross the yarn over itself, grab the piece underneath and pull it through the loop. Place the loop on your hook, not too tight, not too loose. Make sure it can still move around. And because we're gonna chain in a multiple of four plus one, I will chain 25, which is 24, a multiple of four plus one, but feel free to chain as many chains as you like for the length of your project. I will meet you at the end of this foundation chain. This is our foundation chain of 25 chains. For the first row of the two row repeat, I will be working into the back bumps of this chain, but if you prefer, you can work directly into the chains themselves. That works as well. And sometimes with finer yarns or more splitty yarns, it's just easier to work through the chain, so whichever you prefer. To start the first row of the two row repeat, we will be chaining one, and then we're going to be placing a single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Next, we will chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three, and we'll be placing a single crochet in the following chain. It will look something like this. Next, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and repeat what we just did. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet into the following chain. You should have something that looks like this. We're going to do this all the way across the first row. So let's keep going. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three. One, two, three. Single crochet into the following chain. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three, one, two, three, single crochet into the following chain. So far, so good. Let's keep going. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip three, one, two, three, single crochet into the following chain. Now, depending on how many you chain to start with, you may or may not be at the, end, at the end of your row, but I chained 25, so I'm reaching my last four stitches. And so I'm gonna do this one more time, but keep going if you need to. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to skip three stitches and single crochet into the last chain in my foundation chain. 
and the end of my first of two repeat rows, I have something that looks like this. You're 50% of the way there. To start the second repeat row, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this chain five counts, bookmark this in your mind, as if it's the first double treble crochet in your second row. A double treble crochet is, you know in treble crochet how you yarn over twice before you go into the next stitch? A double treble crochet is when you yarn over three times before you go into the next stitch. I thought it might be called a quadruple crochet, but it's not. It's called a double treble crochet. Now, obviously this is not a real true double treble crochet, but it takes the place of one. So bookmark this in your mind as if it's a double treble crochet. And now we're going to turn our work and it will look something like this before you get started. The second repeat row is where we build the triangles. Now, to start the first triangle, we're going to treble crochet into the middle chain of the first chain five. So you see this chain five you made in between the two single crochets, this little arch. We're going to treble crochet into the third of those five chains. So one, two, three, and we're going to treble. So Yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your first treble crochet in the middle chain of that first chain five. That's also the beginning of your triangle. So to make your triangle, to complete this triangle, we're going to place two double crochets but we're not placing them in the chain that you just worked into. We're going to place the two double crochets in the base of that treble. And we're gonna go through both bars, so one double crochet, and see we're going to go through the base of the treble crochet under both bars. That's the first double crochet. And we're going to do one more right back in that same space. And that makes a neat little triangle. Next, we're going to chain one and we're going to skip everything in the middle and we're gonna to go to the next chain five and we're gonna repeat what we just did, which is we're going to find the middle chain, one, two, three, the third one. We'll place a treble crochet in that middle chain Now to complete that triangle, we're going to double crochet again, not into the chain that we just worked into, but into the base of that treble crochet. We're gonna place two double crochets in the base of that treble. One, two, and that creates a neat little triangle. We're gonna keep going all the way across the entire second row just like this. So we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna find the next chain five, and we'll go into the third chain of that chain five with a treble crochet. And now two double crochets in the base of that treble, not in the chain you just worked into, but in the base of the actual stitch. So one, two, and that makes a little triangle. Let's keep going. Chain one, find the next chain five. We're going to treble into the third chain of that chain five, treble crochet. Now two doubles in the base of that treble crochet stitch. One double crochet and another double crochet.
chain one, we're gonna find the next chain five, treble into the third chain of that chain five, Now two double crochets in the base of that treble crochet. One double crochet, two double crochets. You can see the triangles are coming together very nicely. Chain one. Now, because I only chained 25, this is my last chain five in this row, but of course, if you've chained more, then please keep going to the end. Don't stop. We're going to treble crochet into the third chain of that chain five. And now we're going to place two double crochets in the base of that treble. One double crochet two double crochets. And we're not quite done with the row yet, but let's take a look at our triangles. It's so neat and tidy, I love the stitch. Now after the last triangle, we're not going to chain one, but we are going to find the single crochet that you started the last row with, which is for me is right here. And what we're going to place here is a double treble crochet. So instead of yarning over twice, we're going to yarn over three times. So one, two, three. We're gonna find that single crochet in the previous row and work into that yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And that is the end of your second repeat row. To continue the stitch, you'll just keep repeating row one, and row two over and over again. Let's do it together one more time just so we all have the hang of it. Remember how you started row one, which is a chain one, and you turn. The triangles look cute on both sides too, which is always nice. And we're gonna start row three the same way we started row one with, with a single crochet. Now we're single crocheting right into the top of that double treble crochet you made in the previous row. So you have a single crochet. Now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip three stitches, which is the triangle, and we're going to place a single crochet into the chain in between the two triangles. Is this starting to look familiar? Now so you should have something that looks sort of like this. Now we'll chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip three stitches, which happens to be the triangle, and single crochet into the chain in between the two triangles. Remember, this is just a direct repeat of row one. We're gonna continue this way across the entire row. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip three stitches, and single crochet into the chain in between the two triangles. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip three stitches, and place a single crochet into the chain in between the two triangles. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and place a single crochet into the chain in between the two triangles. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and place a single crochet into the last turning chain at the after, so you skip three stitches, one, two, three, we'll place a single crochet into the top turning chain from the previous row. At the end of row three, you should have something that looks like this. Now for row four, we're going to repeat the triangle row, which is the second repeat row. 
remember we're going to start with our placeholder double treble crochet, which is a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to turn our work. Now, do you remember how to do the triangles? We're going to find the middle chain in that chain five. One, two, three, it's always a third one. We're going to treble crochet into that middle chain. Now we're going to place two double crochets into the base of that treble. So not into the chain, but into the base. Here's one double crochet, and here's two double crochets. And you should have a cute little triangle. Don't forget to chain one afterwards and find the next chain five and place a treble into the third chain in that chain five. Now place two double crochets into the base right here of that treble. One double crochet, two double crochets, and you should have another triangle. Chain one, find the next chain five, and treble crochet into the third chain of that chain five. Now place two double crochets into the base of that treble. One, two, you have another triangle. We're gonna continue this way all across this row until we get to the end. Don't forget to chain one in between. So we're gonna find the third chain in the next chain five, treble crochet into that third chain. Now we're going to double crochet twice into the base of that treble to make the triangle. Chain one, find the next chain five, treble into the third chain. Now place two double crochets into the base of that treble to complete the triangle. Chain one, find the next, chain five, treble crochet into the third chain. Now double crochet twice into the base of that treble. And to finish this row, we're going to do a double treble crochet into the first single crochet from the previous row. So you'll find that single crochet. It's usually pretty easy to find. Mine is right here. And we're going to double treble crochet, which means yarn over three times. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And there you have it. That is four rows of a two row repeat. So your first row creates these little chain fives, your second row creates the triangles, and then you repeat and repeat as long or as large as you like your project to be. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.